exciting is happening today. The first non-HFC coolers are entering the United States. Most people have never heard of HFCs. HFCs are man-made chemical, part of something called F-gases. F-gases are the worst greenhouse gases you've never heard of. these out since 2004 in, uh, in Europe and the rest of the world. So for me it's um, the final step. This is the last country uh, we've moved these cabinets into. In, uh, around the world we have now about 300,000 of these ice cream cabinets and um, this is the first of, I hope, many in the US. In 1987, Greenpeace uh, was pushing for the banning of CFCs in the Montreal Protocol which was successful. However, subsequent to that, chemical companies put forward the environmental alternative to CFCs, and they called HFCs environmental. Greenpeace saw immediately that HFCs were not an environmental alternative to anything. Lots of contact points uh, with Greenpeace, not only on refrigeration, but other issues as well. But I'd like to say that this, this particular issue, we've been working very closely together and we formulated an answer really which allows us to have a win-win on both sides. So we've been working together for at least 10 years on this exercise and we have a very good relationship with Greenpeace. So here it is, it's the hydrocarbon freezer. It looks just like any other freezer that you'll see um, in many of our Ben & Jerry stores. But this is a little bit different. Uh, this cabinet not only keeps the product cold, but it does it in a way that keeps the impact on global warming much lower than um, the hydrocarbon HFC cabinets that we have for the rest of the business. It's not only good for the environment in terms of refrigerant that it uses, it's also 10% more energy efficient. And that means our customers like Karen in this store, who runs this store as a franchisee, is going to save a lot of money too. And it's going to be good for the environment because we're using less energy. We have for this year uh, 50 units in the US. They will be concentrated in the Washington and Boston areas initially, uh, and we hope next year to expand those numbers considerably. Um, we'll still focus in Washington and Boston, but once we have uh, clearance from the EPA to move with much larger numbers of these hydrocarbon cabinets around the US, then I hope you'll see them in your neighborhood too.